Hey fam, what a one. So just a quick one on what boxes to use and what boxes not to use when it comes to your children's food. We're resuming school tomorrow, so I just want to educate all of us. First of all, this is a young box. And this is actually, this is a young box. This is how it actually looks like on the inside. Hey, who not did this one? You know, go pass Grace. And Grace, I know Sabi arranged things. So this is a young box. It has like one, two, three, four, four partitions. It's actually a snack box. You don't put food into something like this. You can actually put stuff like pancakes, sandwiches, um, um, waffles, and all of that. But for me, if I want to put any of my kids' um, stuff like that into this, I always use a silicone gel, a hot gel pack. Why use a hot gel pack to keep the food warm, not hot? Because partition boxes are not made to keep your food hot. Same thing goes with... Um, this um b box this is a b box it actually comes with its own ice pack maybe you want to put like those um, cold sandwiches those ones that come with tuna that comes with mm turkey and the rest of it that's why you use a box like this it's for sandwiches waffles pancakes and all you cannot put food into this if you want to put food you must have a hot a penicillin hot gel silicone to keep the food warm not hot then for this one, this is a Montico M, Montico M, this thing, sorry, little lunch box. This is for snacks at two. I always tell people this is for snacks, it's not for food. You can use it for sandwiches, pancakes, waffles, and the rest of that. But and this one too, and this is this is a young box press too. This the back of it is a stainless steel. I always use this for when it comes to that stuff like chips, um, and plantain, fried eggs, and the rest of it. But if you notice in my videos, anytime I use something like this, I always use this silicone, this and penicillin silicone hot gel for it. Uh, and this is it, the same thing in green, in case you want to, maybe you're trying to, you're mistaking it or whatever. So this is how it looks like. I use this, why? This stainless steel retains much, I mean, this thing, much more heat and is insulated. So it, as in, there is more heat compared to these other ones that are just them. Um, regular plastic if you want your kids food spiking hot when i say hot or you're, you're giving your kids stuff like yogurt and you want it very cold by the time they get to school like some stuff that will last for seven six eight hours you use this this is a jar this is a food flax like a food flax stuff like this is what you use to keep your food hot same thing this is a snack box you can't put food into this it's for snacks either you put your fruits you put your um nuts you put your um, um this thing your um, cheese balls and um, popcorns and the rest of it sandwiches too no doubt into this and this as well this is a penicillin and then partition box is also for it's also for lunch for snacks for fruits and the rest fruits nuts and again a will <laughs> and this this is a bend go box. When I see this, you can go down where you can go. This is a bend go box. Jesus is Lord. Straight. This is a bend go box. I usually see people on Instagram use this for food. The only time you can actually use this, it will, your food will not, it will not stay hot. It will only be warm. And that being warm is for like two to three hours. Except you're using a silicone gel to keep it warm. And it, another thing again, it depends on your lunch bag. Precious, please, can you help me with the panels and then lunch bag? It depends on the lunch bag. If you're using all these regular lunch bags, don't worry, forget it. You're, it's just for the design. Your food will not be warm. It will not even stay hot. But if you're using as in an original school lunch bag or arena picnic lunch bags, then your food is going to be warm. So for this, if I'm using stuff like that, I think I want to put food, I want to put fries, even if I want to put pancake and waffle, I usually use um, this um, silicone hot gel underneath it to keep it at least, let it be warm. But it is not going to be hot. Then when you want to keep your food hot, okay. Um, before we go, so okay, this one, this is a Zoku box. I only use it when I want to stuff like pancakes or snacks because it comes with its own ice pack. It has a, an ice pack underneath it. It's inside the freezer for now. And give me the give me the bag. And this is how it looks like. So I can use this for cold food. Then this is the um this is the bag my kids take to school. See. Is the picnic lunch bag? If the bag is fully padded, as in it to keep your, if you want your food hot, it to keep it hot. If you want it cold, it to keep it cold. So if this is a, it's good for lunch for giving your, um, giving your kids lunch in school. But it's quite big, except you have like two kids in a class, or maybe if you have one child, you can everything can go inside. There are lunch bags, um, water bottle, juice bottle, everything can go inside. It's quite big and it's very good i love this bag the interior the exterior it has so many pouches inside of it then it has this um there's this stuff like like a tray so water doesn't soak in inside the bag maybe if you want your food pours or something this is very good too 
then the best i see when when it comes to like um my child is starting school new or whatever it is my i need a lunch book for my children this is what i always advise if your kid is from like two to within seven eight years old this is what i advise for kids it depends on how much your kids they do eat though so this is an omi box this is um, the omi mm this is an omi pod this is where the cutleries are sorry this is the pod and these are the cutleries the pod is to protect the cutleries and keep them hygienic and this is the handle for the box when you open it this is how it looks like this i would, would call this omi dips but it doesn't come with the box you have to buy this separately these dips you can use them for your snacks you can use them for your ketchup you can use it for chicken or anything anything of your choice you can if you are following me you, you, you must have come across videos where i use them for so many things then this is um, um a, a mini tray for partitioning of the box and this box comes with a table this is the thermos for it this is the thermos for the box this can keep your food hot for up to seven hours sometimes even when a penny will take it to school when they are back from school if i still check inside inside of the even when the food is finished inside is still warm most times what i do i actually preheat the thermos before i put the food inside so it keeps it even hotter for longer hours i think i'll make another video i'll make a video for that as well so this is a thermos why i always advise is that because you can actually keep both hot and cold food inside this box so your child you, you can have your child some I mean, food and you can have their other snacks you can have their fruits you can have their nuts at the other side of the, of the box and even if you want to take away the thermos you don't need them they don't need the thermos you can actually use here this part for sandwiches pancakes waffles or what have you so this box and it's very durable for those who have it they know the quality and they know what they've bought so i think i've been able to answer your questions please partition boxes are not to keep your food hot they will only keep your food warm and that's for like two to three hours but if you are using a good lunch bag if you are using a hot gel silicone you can actually elongate the amount of hours that you can keep your food warm but it will keep your food cold this like all these um partition boxes are no no for food if you want your food to be spiking hot all right guys bye <laughs>